I'm Dr. David Wolfson. When it comes to taking care of your asthma, there are three very important points. One, always have your medicine on hand. Two, know how to use your medicines. And three, know how to get help should you need it. We at Children's Community Pediatrics and Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh can help you control your asthma. Here's more information about air quality and asthma from asthma specialist Allison Larkin. Some days I worry about how the indoor and outdoor environment affects my child's asthma. This is an excellent observation. Air quality both inside and outside can affect your child's asthma. And this can range anywhere from environmental exposure to tobacco exposure to things like car exhaust. Can you tell me a little bit more about outdoor air pollution and asthma? Ozone, commonly known as smog, and particle pollution, commonly known as soot, are some of the more common triggers. So to try to keep healthy when you go outside, you can actually use something that's like a forecast to use to predict what the conditions are outside. It's called the Air Quality Index, or the AQI. What is the AQI and how can I follow it? It's an air quality forecast that helps us to know how clean the air is by following a color-coded scale. Here's an example, and you can also find this online. It's calculated using five major air pollutants regulated by the Clean Air Act. Ground level ozone, particle pollution, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. The higher the AQI value, the greater the level of air pollution and potential for breathing problems. How do I use this to protect my child? So let me show you. If it's orange or red or purple, you'd probably want to keep your child inside that day. But if it's green or yellow, these are safer days to be outside. What about the environment inside my house? We need to think about things like tobacco exposure, which we don't want your child to ever really be exposed to. Even if smoking occurs outside, this can still be harmful to the child as the particles can stay on the clothing. We also want to keep the house as dry as possible to prevent mold exposure, so fixing any leaks can be very important and helpful. And taking the trash out on time it can also prevent cockroach exposure. Now I know why those hot and humid days are so hard on my child. Thank you so much for sharing that EQI information. It'll be really helpful. Hi, I'm Linda Earhart with the American Lung Association, Program Manager for Pennsylvania Asthma Partnership. I hope you found these videos helpful. For more information on how to stay healthy and gain control of your asthma, you can visit these websites, chp.edu or paasthma.org.